Hello, I'm Peter Newman. In RE Insight this week, we're talking about how to set up your harvester to maximise the efficacy of harvest weed seed control where you're just focusing on the chaff component. So that's the integrated destructor, the chaff cart, chaff deck or chaff line. If you're using one of those systems, you really need to maximise the number of weed seeds that are in that chaff stream. We don't want to throw the weed seeds out with the straw. So how do we communicate this? Well, let's have a look at this concept diagram of the inside of a harvester. Thanks to Nick Berry for this diagram. So if we have the rotor here, all of the material enters that rotor where the grain is threshed out. So the grain and the chaff comes out of the rotor, the grain is collected down here, the chaff travels along the sieves and out the back of the harvester. The straw on the other hand continues through the rotor to the beater and the beater throws it into the chopper. Now Michael Walsh and John Broster in 2014 did some GRDC funded trials to measure where all the weed seeds were ending up. They did five trials, five farms, five different harvesters. Alarmingly they found that on average across all of them it was pretty consistent about 50% of the weed seeds were exiting in that straw fraction. And these were harvesters that were just set up for normal harvest. So that is a disaster in terms of harvest weed seed control where we're focusing on this chaff fraction. So they went back to the drawing board. In 2015, they did it again, this time using a harvester that was set up for harvest weed seed control. It had integrated Harrington seed destructive mills mounted to it. It was a case 9120. It was set up to maximize the weed seeds in that chaff fraction. And this time only 3% of the weed seeds exited in the straw. 97% of the weed seeds were either in that chaff stream or in the grain tank. So it's good news, it shows that it's possible to set up a harvester to collect the weed seeds if you put your mind to it. Now it's difficult to communicate this because there's so many different harvesters. So let's have a look at conceptually what we need to do. So firstly, we've got to thresh the weed seeds. Ray Harrington would tell us we've got to thresh it hard enough so that we get the weed seeds out of the seed heads. So that's step one. Step two, we've got to be prepared to open these grates up or open up the concave, we've got to open the, that rotor up to get the weed seeds out of the rotor and onto the sieves. If the weed seeds stay in here, they're going to go out in the straw. So we need to let them out of the rotor. That's step two. Step three, we need to make sure we don't have too much wind on. If we have too much wind, it's going to blow the chaff all the way up into the straw stream and exit. And step four, potentially some har harvesters, depending on the make of harvester, need a separator baffle. This is basically just a curved piece of steel that might sit above the sieve and behind the sieve, about perhaps 30 centimetres, give or take, above the sieve and the same distance behind, so we keep that air pressure the same. The idea being to keep the chaff below that so that the chaff and the straw don't get mixed up and keep the chaff below that straw stream. So some harvesters need this, others don't. Conceptually, that's what we need to do. Farmers are going to be better at setting their harvester up to, to maximise that harvest weed seed control, focusing on the chaff stream. Michael Walsh and John Broster have found that it's possible. They've also found that if you don't put your mind to it, you'll be sending a lot of weed seeds out with the straw fraction. So for more information, take a look at RE Insight.